there, there's a clear pattern that Israel is targeting the best and brightest of Gaza. They are going, as you said, they're going after everyone who might provide a way of living a human life in Gaza. They, so they're going after lawyers, they're going after medics, they're going after teachers journalists. and journalists. Yes, well, for, a very. I mean, one of the most. I mean, it's all so horrific. It's beyond words, but. Um, the uh, the, the uh, Al Jazeera had, was shut down in Israel, um, and then the day after, they bombed and killed the family of the Al Jazeera correspondent in Gaza. So, that was a statement. It was saying, "We will kill your family." They didn't even kill him. They they killed his family. Um, so I just wanted. I, I think that this is part of uh, what needs to change. Is the narrative is that this is not none of these are. Um, are mistakes that they're targeting the best and brightest of Gaza because they want to destroy any remnants of human life in Gaza. They want to make it unable to live. So I just wanted to you guys to talk about what you think Israel's goal is. Well, actually, they also target the peace activists. And it's shocking, even those who call for peace, they're targeting them. For example, they targeted my friend Ahmed Abartima, uh, the, um, the founder of the Great March of Return. He is my best friend, and he has always been one of the most vocal voices for the peaceful resistance, the unarmed resistance.